In her 1989 hit song, If I Could Turn Back Time, Cher sang about how words are like weapons. Thirty years later, the President of the United States is taking Cher's words and attempting to weaponize them. I finally agree with Cher, he tweeted triumphantly yesterday morning, as if to welcome a new convert. But if you actually read what Cher wrote, not to mention her subsequent clarifications, it is clear that Trump needs to keep looking for evidence if he wants us to believe that his critics are now siding with him. Cher's Sunday evening tweet that got Trump so jubilant read, I understand helping struggling immigrants but my city, Los Angeles, ISNT taking care of its own. What about the 50,000 plus citizens who live on the streets? PPL who live below poverty line and hungry? If my state can't take care of its OWN, many are vets how can it take care of more? Trump apparently read it quickly, misinterpreting it as the same sort of hateful, anti-immigrant rant that he likes to write. But nowhere in her tweet does Cher say that sanctuary cities should not accept immigrants. On the contrary, Cher began her tweet by stating her desire to help immigrants, then criticized her city's handling of the current homeless population, particularly when it comes to veterans. Cher's tweet is simply a plea for her city to improve the way it handles its disadvantaged population, whether or not they are immigrants. Hours later, after the Trump echo chamber pounced on the issue, Cher clarified her tweet through two sharp replies to a pair of Twitter users. First came this, either you can't read or English isn't your primary language. I said nothing about turning an immigrants living in my city over to ICE. We don't kidnap babies and put them in cages, which is different than wanting Trump to drop thousands of PPL who haven't been vetted into my city. Her second reply explained further, there must be a process. PPL who are looking for asylum and qualify must be given access to judges and properly interviewed. Then they can be sent evenly to cities. Not just thousands bus to Calif New York at for revenge. These are PPL.WER sanctuary cities, because we don't throw PPL to dogs. Finally, in case there was any question, as to whether Cher now sides with Trump and his divisive, vengeful policies, she returned to Twitter last night to shut Trump down. Cher warned Democrats about being too nice when dealing with Trump, and then in all caps, probably so that there is a chance Trump can't understand it, she made her feelings clear, he's ignorant thug with lizard brain that guarantees his survival above all else. Trump should not expect to hear Cher singing I got you babe to him anytime soon.